All right, Shamu, are you are you there? Are you there? Yeah, I hear him. Are you there? I hear something. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Hey, what's up? How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Uh, welcome to the show. Okay, so what's going on with Ralph's um, uh, baby mama uh, lawsuit? The, the defamation suit. Yeah, so the defamation suit uh, just recently, like, well, first off, let me, like, build up to, like, kind of what he did a little bit with that. So okay. he tried to, like, email Ralph and coerce him by uh-huh. signing away all his rights to his son. And then and then also the other only other thing he asked for was his diamond ring, which is fucking deranged. He didn't <laughs> ask for, like, money or anything else. He tried to, like, yeah. blackmail him into, like, giving him his fucking diamond ring and then signing away the rights. <laughs> Ralph... <laughs> But the dad's I all fucked up, isn't he? Isn't and the dad your really diamond weird? ring? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. The dad of this, the dad of this poor girl is so fucking deranged, man. He's uh, a psycho, dude. He's like the he's, he's a like total a total psycho. He's a real indicator of what Gen X is going to be mm. as they become like old and senile and mm. as warped as the baby boomers. Mm. Um, Ralph knocked up his daughter, and yeah. he decided to launch a, a streaming career. Right over it, so he's like const- he's constantly streaming about Ralph, and he's paid people to go uh, find Ralph in Portugal and beat him up on the street and record it, like a small time yeah, like mob boss guy stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. What yes. was that, Shemo? Yeah. So n- not only that, like he, uh, the guy that went to go that assaulted Ralph, like in the streets, he was paying that guy to make the trip. Like he was like Jesus. crowdfunding it with him to pay the guy. And then here's a, another thing with him. So after the assault happened, yeah, um, there were a few people, some of my friends that did like live streams or whatever, saying like, "Hey, maybe this is like a little too, you know, this is, seems a little bit crazy. Maybe, <laughs> maybe this guy is like a psycho or something like that." So Matt Matthew Vickers uh, sent him a DM on Twitter, where he sent him a picture of the the guy that said that and his family members, two of his children. And then said, hey, if you don't, if you know, sometimes people get hurt when they get involved in this stuff. So you might want to like stop doing what you're doing. He sent that to who? Just a random guy who was, who was criticizing what he's doing? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Jesus Christ. So literally he's like trying to be like a mob boss. It's fucking insane. That's shit Maddox used to do. Oh yeah, here's a picture of your own kids from your Facebook. Yeah, it'd be a real shame if something uh, if someone were to call CPS on them. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Man, um, okay, and then and then fuck with the wrong guy (laughs) these days. Well, the right guy was Ralph. The wrong guy was Ralph. Yeah. Now he's he's bankrupt. Yeah, for sure. Vickers had to declare. He's like five hundred thousand in the hole. He has a foreclosure. He's got a fake divorce now, like that he's got to do for bill reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, To hide assets. (laughs) And, uh, (laughs) and and you mentioned that he tried to like get a career off of this stuff. Right. So even, so even back when, uh, his daughter was still with Ralph, she actually like wrote down like in a message or whatever that she thought that her father was going to try to make a career out of this before they even were like broken up. So she knew that what he was going to do, which is fucking insane. Like what kind of guy tries to build a career and sell merch off of like just some dude that fucked your daughter? Mm. Like how fucking insane is that? I guess Chris Jenner did that. Um, yeah. Did anybody else try mm-hmm. to make a career off of their kid's sex tape? I don't know. I don't know. Can't think of it. And the yeah, stuff that he would do. That's a good one. That's yeah, a good one. Yeah. yeah. Chris Jenner did that. He's she's probably the only one. Mm-hmm. Vickers doesn't yeah. have quite the same panache as her. Okay, what right. what were you saying? I was just gonna say, like, and they were fucking with him in like so many different ways. Like one of the ways that was like really dark was uh Vickers would send out like mentally ill people that hated Ralph to his daughter's house and his house. And they would like go to Disneyland and all this stuff. And they would make tweets like with his son and talk about like oh. what they did at weekend. Like I sick shit. One of those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so Ralph doesn't want to turn over his his parental rights to this guy. Is that basically the problem? For yeah, he doesn't reason. want to do that. Uh, and yeah. he wanted the ring too. <laughs> he wanted Ralph's dad's. <laughs> Ralph's dad so, died and left him a diamond ring, you know, sent the... 
well, yeah. sentimental yeah, family well, heirloom. Five hundred k in the hole. Right? That's why so. he. That's why he wanted it. No, but yeah. he didn't ask for money. He wanted the ring because this. You got to remember, this guy's like streaming all the time, right? And he's like bought into like oh. everything that's going on <laughs> online, and so it's a bit. It's a bit yeah. for Ralph to talk about the ring. Oh, I got this ring. Da, 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 da. You know, it's like a bit that he does. Yeah. And so that was the one thing he wanted. You know, he wanted to take that from him. Right. It's fucking Is bizarre. Vickers gone now? I saw he missed court. He, he was going to sue him for sue him for defamation because Ralph called him a pedophile or something like that. Mm-hmm. And he was well, sue it wasn't him only for... Ralph. He oh, was going to yeah. sue Ethan Ralph and 50 anonymous users. Like Um, online, just like that we're fucking talking shit on Twitter, you know? (laughs) And so he he didn't get the ring or any of this stuff. So he's like, okay, I'm suing you for defamation. The guy, court date comes around and fucking Vickers doesn't even show up. He like misses the whole thing. And then his side has to like ask the judge to dismiss the case entirely just to avoid like court costs and further shit that's going to hurt him from his bankrupted family at this point. Ralph should hit him back with an anti-slap suit. That's California, man. You get nine times yeah. attorney's fees or something like that. You get one to nine times attorney's. California doesn't like that right. uh, fake defamation shit mm-hmm. to silence, you know, speech. Kind of, uh, kind of important yeah. to, kind of important to the uh, people here that run the show uh, that they're allowed to say whatever they want. Uh, that would be a good time for, for sure. <laughs> so what now? Is that it for Vickers? Well, now, I mean, I don't know if that's it. I feel like he's never going to stop. I feel like once you have a guy like Vickers coming after you, like, they just never stop. But as far as, like, the court stuff, I don't think there's anything, like, upcoming or anything like that that's dismissed. So I think uh, (sighs) now he's still got to, like, go. He's going to go and, like, visit and stuff like that. Oh, Ralph's going to go there and visit? (laughs) Yeah. But it's (laughs) one of the most deranged feuds. I mean, Vickers, I I mean, he doesn't have any, he has no money. Yeah. Um he's a fuck he's a joke. Yeah. He has no more legal recourse. And he ain't got no ring. <laughs> he's got no ring. And he got no ring. Is Ralph's gonna wear the ring to the to the visitation? Probably he probably I'm should. sure he will, yeah. He probably will though. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wears that thing everywhere. That's awesome. <laughs> See how much can change in a couple of years? Yeah. Yeah, Ralph. It's crazy. Ralph won now. Yeah, I know. He's- that defamation shit was hanging over his head for like yeah. uh, like two years. Yeah, and uh, because he tried to sue like fifty anonymous users, like they obviously like people don't like that kind of shit when you come after people that are anonymous online. So they started to like dig into Vickers and all this stuff, and they found uh, one of his uh, old emails. Like it was an LLC used to run called iStar Product, right? Okay. And they found this uh, like sex site or whatever. <laughs> it was like a swingers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they found a swingers site from 2006 in there, from him and his wife, and like 100. percent And and the 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 tagline was, "We're normally a very conservative couple, but we <laughs> love swinging in secret." <laughs> oh no! Long as God didn't find out. Yeah. The craziest thing about it is like. This guy's so litigious. If you don't fuck his mutant wife right, he's liable to sue you. <laughs> mutant wife. Oh. Man, you got to stay away from this swinging shit. Yeah. You got to watch out for these these swingers, yeah. Sean. They're dangerous. I don't want to get sued by a gargoyle. You get sued, they turn the cops on yeah. you. You have the whole county against you. <laughs> the whole county against you. <laughs> Coming after you. Who would have thought oh, that man. fucking a guy's wife isn't just, you know, easy? Yeah. Turns out that uh, so many things could go wrong for you. Yeah, it's not for the... uh not for the know, faint of heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's got to be a little planning. <laughs> got to be a little smarter than a lot of people who try it, I think. You got to be a little smarter. Than the people who do saves. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. They want bury one in the yard, maybe. Right. Right. Have right. some decoy saves. Right. So I guess we're back to Maddox. There you go. After all. Yeah. The mastermind. Um, <laughs> that guy. That guy. Patch. There was a guy called Patrick Melton. He runs a, a show called Nobody Likes Onions. That was at Hackamania. He put Hackamania together. I guess. Okay. Friend of Carl's. Yeah. Uh, he was a he was a huge uh, uh, hate watcher fan of uh, that guy Aaron Emholt. 
who was the yeah, part time. of the swinging uh-huh. group yeah. or whatever they were that Nick was. You said a hate watcher? Well, they just watch him and make yeah, fun of him. Sure, yeah. Because he's the kind of guy who would let his wife get fucked by another guy and, and stolen and then mm-hmm. go on a uh, publicity tour okay. over it and cry to the cops right. about it. Sure. Uh, and I guess he had predicted this entire thing uh, oh, really? weeks ago oh. that this is what was happening. Something like this was happening. He didn't have it like who or what, but he said something's happening sexually with mm-hmm. those two and mm-hmm. somebody like he had, he had the mm-hmm. whole thing mapped out. Um, and we didn't know mm. we were just sitting in the dark, not mm. knowing about any of this, but he had it Dick. all. Uh, yeah. Well, one of uh steel toes trolls, like this is they're they're wild. And it's pretty funny. Like they had a countdown. I, you can go to the website. I think it, I, I can't remember the tag, but it's like Aaron M Holt something. But it's a website where they literally had a countdown for his next divorce. <laughs> like they had, and it was true. <laughs> they said it two years in advance. It was uh, a countdown for like two years or something. Yeah. And, um, God, what a mess. And he was, I, I guess it was like a running bit on Aaron Imhold's show that he couldn't make his wife come. Yeah. This is something that he would talk about, like, as a joke. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Right? Right. Well, he got pissed off at her. He got pissed off at her because they asked, you know, he he reads off every chat that he gets. So one of the chatters (laughs) asked something like, you know, how many can you make your wife come or something like that? And she was like, uh, not all the time, but like, you know, every, uh, you know, every few times, like a week or something like that. And he got fucking pissed about the answer and he like was really mad at her. Mm. So I think that's where that whole thing comes from. Mm. Cuck rage. Mm. Big problem. Cuck Mm. rage. Big problem. Okay. Um, Shamu, what, is there anything else with the Vickers? Thing it's I'm I'm happy about the ending. I hope he just stays yeah. gone. That guy's so fucking weird. <laughs> for sure. I've got a a, a story like as far as, for a new video that I made that you might like. It's about like a psycho ex girlfriend. Okay, you just run mm. through that real quick. Yeah, mm. go for it. Yeah. So it's another like vicar situation as far as like somebody obsessing over someone's life and then going after them. You know. So this girl starts dating this streamer online. And they're dating in secret for like a couple months, right? She flies all the way out from fucking New York to California. And when she shows up, she's got like the guy's, he, the, when she shows up, she had the guy's name tattooed on her forearm, his Great. government name. Ooh. Yeah. So it didn't work out. Uh, you know, she didn't look anything like that. He, uh, he had thought that she looked like. She was using all these filters and all this shit. So you got like catfish. Those fucking filters are criminal yeah. that they got. You can't I, trust anything anymore. No, 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 no. That's what I say too. They should be fucking illegal. It's insane yeah. what they can do. What these some of these women can do with filters. And so she shows up. He's nice about her or whatever, right? So he lets her stay like a week. She's supposed to stay two. And then he's like, okay, this isn't working. You know, you got to get out of the house. She sits in his apartment for like 11 hours, just like sitting there. Her bags are packed and everything's ready, but she won't leave. So then the guy comes out and confronts her and he starts recording. So like the recording of him trying to get this woman out of his house is like in the video. (laughs) And he's like telling her, you know, you got to leave. You got to get out. And she just starts like crying and like yelling at him and all this shit. And it goes on for so long. He eventually has to call the police. So the police have to escort this woman out of this fucking guy's apartment. Mm. And then that's when all the shit happens. For the last six months, this woman has been streaming about this guy taking out his channels, trying to ruin his businesses, mm. um, calling him a fucking pedophile, everything under the sun, commit, like just doing war, doing police calls, uh, delivering shit to his house, all that shit, doxing his moderators, calling their family, oh like gosh. the worst Jesus possible shit you can Christ. do. She's <laughs> Did the girl yeah. have a beard and talk like this? Yeah, who is it? Who's the girl? I mean, it's she's streaming. She's streaming, yeah. Her name's Men Noodles, so M E H Noodles, and she's still streaming. Oh, it's the other thing. So all that shit happens, right? Yeah. He sent her a cease and desist. They're about to go through a fucking lawsuit now, <laughs> uh, but she won't stop streaming about him. She won't stop doxing oh his followers. God. It's incredible. She read the cease and desist out like on air and everything, and they're like, "You're not allowed to say this person's name." Oh, this person? You're not allowed to say their address. And then she like names out the address. Mm. putting pictures on there while she's reading the cease and desist. So I think they're supposed to start going, like, they're supposed to move forward with it, like, here in, like, five days or something, but she hasn't stopped. 
God, I'm looking for her. Wait, YouTube's most psychotic breakup. The me- oh, this is yours. Yeah, that's the video. Ooh. The yeah, men yeah, noodles yeah. and Sir Morbid X. Hey guys, okay, let me like see. Video. Okay, patreoncom slash shamu 411 All right, I just want to get a look yeah. at her. See what this girl looks like. There's oh, a little intro. Oh, I see. I see how this happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Ah, that could happen. To the, that could happen to any <laughs> of us. Well, in front of you, uh, so I did nothing wrong. It was all like me asking him, like, uh, "Do you even care?" Uh huh. She's got a. She's got her tits framed in this picture. Yeah. If you go. If you go back to where it's like right before the dating show thing, it'll give okay. it's like a little compilation of all the shit that's happened. And okay. it's like just a couple minutes, but it's like right after that thing starts. It should have like okay. it's a uh, plays winter by Vivaldi okay. uh, under it. Uh, right Renim and Men Noodle story. Mm. No! Hi, my name is and this is she will not leave my house. <laughs> Don't fucking come at me <laughs> without explaining why you support this. Explain that, then question me. Uh, and I'll give you an answer. Does your job know what you're doing on the internet? Uh, Does your job know what you're doing? It'd be a real shame if they found out. Call her work, May. I will. And her husband, too. Yeah, they messed the wrong fucking person. What, what was the point? What was the point of, go meet yeah, the No, no, no. Here's, I got a question for you. What was the point of doxing her kids the other day with that Blackbeard account? Her, her, her kids', kids, names, her kids, names, her fucking kids names in their t- Kids are fucking not minors. Sorry, they're going with you, bitch. I want you to feel what I feel. Oh. Mm, there you go. <laughs> There's the cops. Oh, man, yeah. Me and Jim are going to see each other. One Thinking day. crying will save her. Listen, yeah. anything you need, let me know. I got all the info. Fuck that piece of shit. It's you, my you, fucking right to speak out about my experience. You brought this to the internet, right? Yeah, okay? you want everyone. No one knew who you existed other than you were a mod in his chat. No one, one knew that you guys even second. had a relationship you until you came out to Alex's I'm channel. Oh, okay. Uh... Well, we gotta lock her up, man. That would be. <laughs> I'm just missing the shotgun blast at the end. Yeah, like that's, for a happy ending, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is an hour and forty one minutes. Yeah, I'll watch this. YouTube's most psychotic breakup, the Man Noodle story, and Sir Morbid X Shamu on YouTube. Um, cautionary tale. <laughs> All of it's kind of a cautionary for sure tale. You know everything that we do. I'm hoping if somebody's time. watching and says, I'm not going to do it. Don't any do of any that, of this. Actually. No, yeah. Women on the internet? No. No, thanks. I'll go ahead and take nothing. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Uh, okay. It'll cost you less. It'll cost less. Uh, thanks, Shamu. Uh, Colin again. Yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll post this on the site too. See ya. Yeah. See you, buddy. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh.